All right, so I'm going to make this quicker than the last one. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, so a lot of you guys might have noticed, uh, I don't really edit my videos. Uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a streamer. I've always streamed. I need to learn an editing uh, software. But for right now, um, I see that the last video when I was uh, tweaking with the um, with the Radeon software, it helped some of you, but some of you still had some issues. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I uploaded that, I started messing with MSI Afterburner and it seemed to have sort of done it for me before I got the new um the new graphics card. Sorry, the, the new CPU and um I got DDR4 RAM. So that's also something because I had DDR3 before. Um that's also something that uh I need to update I need to update these. Um but that's also something that I saw. Uh I changed I assume helped, so I got this Ryzen 5, and then I ha I also got a uh, 144 hertz panel that has free swing free sync, and I don't know if that helped at all. But I'll let you guys know that I haven't. I'm almost sure I haven't changed any of this stuff. No, actually I have. Um, I haven't touched it. Oh no. In fact, no, I have. Or have I? No, I haven't. Yeah, so I'm actually running default right now. I do run this to be overclocked. Um, but you see, I'm no longer getting that, that stutter ever since I upgraded the CPU, the RAM, and the, the panel. I'm almost sure the panel, I mean, um, yeah, the panel probably has nothing to do with it. Um, I personally would recommend you guys to get some DDR4 RAM and maybe a processor that's a little more updated. I know, sh you know, I, I I know, I know, I know it's annoying having to upgrade often, but um, if you got, you know, if you have, if you have the a couple bucks to spare, I would definitely recommend it because that's what helped. But if you know, if you don't got it, you still want to continue with the 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 build you had now and um, or you have now, like the build I had, which was an eighty three fifty with I think like twenty eight gigs of uh, DDR three RAM, which is really bad, um, because all the all the RAM sticks were running at different speeds, but um so now i'm rambling um msi afterburner okay so when i was going through stuff i encountered this um this website and this guy was running msi afterburner at this rate and so just before we get started on this before you if you ever start if you start following what i'm going to be doing um i just want to let you know you can, I mean, if if you don't, if you're not doing it right, or if you do too much, uh, you know, you can damage the parts in your computer. They can get too hot, or uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm just basically giving you a little disclaimer that this is, this is up to you, and this is um, this is at your own risk. Um, it's really not that serious, but I just I just have to say it because I don't want anyone in my comment section saying I broke their computer. Um, and when you download MSI Afterburner, it actually tells you, you, you know, you're doing whatever. Um, so this is what he ran. He ran a core voltage of, what is this, 96? And I, like, stock, I run zero. Now, 96 doesn't mean your graphics card is getting 96% or, or I don't even know if that's in percent. It just says plus. Um, it just means that it's available. So I'm almost sure I had it in here as a setting, or I might have saved it. No, never mind. Didn't. Um. So I had I I mean Jim's just gonna copy this down. Um, I'm the only thing I I didn't copy. I'm almost sure was the fan speed. Um, uh, because he set it to something. He set it to forty five, and I just have mine on auto. Like whatever you know, whatever my because my room gets hot. So like I'm not gonna just let the fan run at a specific percentage all the time because if it needs more you know it needs more um and let me just tell you something real quick where are the settings oh nope sorry i haven't used afterburner in a, in a hot ass second i'm almost sure oh i'm so stupid um so there's some of these might actually be locked for you. They might like be dull gray or something. Uh, and you just have to go into here and enable, uh, which ones you want. Um, I had this off. I 
because I don't even think I know what that means. I mean, it says force constant voltage, but we're we're messy with the voltage, so I'm almost sure I kept that off because I didn't want it to have a constant voltage. I want it to be dynamic, and I want it to be able to change around if it needs be, if it needs to. Um, and that's about it. So I'd follow these. So he set we set this to what ninety six. If you want an exact uh, reading, I'd uh, I'd use your keys, and it doesn't set until you press the little um, the little check mark. Uh, that's at ninety. That's the temp limit. I mean, ninety's fine. That's hot, but like my I mean my graphics card never goes over like seventy four. Um, he set the core clock to fifteen oh two, and I'm almost sure. The memory clock is too high. Now, when you're doing this, when you're doing this, make this automatic and make this default. Okay. I, I don't know why I have put that to overclock. I usually do it when I, before I play a game, but because they might interrupt each other or one is going to turn the other off like, when it comes to the tuning. Like if you have this set to a specific clock speed and then you have this uh, to a specific clock speed. Then it's it's gonna um they either interrupt each other or like one takes over the other. So just make sure you have one not working if you're gonna be messing with the other because they're they're both tuning. So I mean one, this one's you know the the dedicated one, and well, I have an MSI card, um so this is why I went with MSI Afterburner. Uh, if you don't have an MSI card, I would do some research, but I have an MSI R nine five eighty X or is it five eighty? No, just a five eighty. It's just a 580. Um, I'm sure, I mean, I. if you were to ask me, I'd probably be like, oh, I'm sure you're fine if you don't have an MSI because it's still the same chip, but I'd still do some research. Uh, don't take my word for it. Um, he, when he did his memory clock, I'm almost sure it was too high. But here, we're going to find out. Oh, 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 oh. So it looks good. Right. <clears throat> Sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm not. I'm not 13, I promise. I'm 20. <laughs> but my voice cracks um on another note it looks good but i'm not i'm not stress testing it because i'm streaming right now or i'm not streaming but i'm running obs and i really don't want to uh i don't want to give you the wrong readings i could open up fortnite right now and check but i i really don't want to give you the wrong readings um because i might be giving you the wrong fps or whatever or, uh yeah or latency you know so I'll let you know right now that this works for me. If for any reason these three were fine for me. Okay? These were good. It was I'm almost sure it was the memory clock was too high at some point when I when I had copied this initially. So what I recommend is if I forget to be honest with you if it was the core clock or the memory clock that was too high, but I'm almost sure it was the memory clock because you see how boosted it is. Um if if it starts crashing, if it starts giving you weird colors, if you start glitching out and you know, if you see like objects and artifacts like all over the place, um I would put this specific one at uh at stock or whichever one is the one you assume is too high, which I'm almost sure is the memory clock. So what was stock? I think it was two thousand, it was at two twenty fifth two twenty two fifty. So this is good. Oh, that was 96. And then with MSI Afterburner, you just uh, you just save. Uh, so this was at 50 plus. This was at 90. Core clock, ooh, the core clock was at 1502. Again, guys, this was when I had my older setup with the different CPU and the and the DDR3 RAM. Um, so that worked for me then. And that's what I would run uh, constantly. And it, it, it had messed up since uh, AMD released a new software. But if you can, I'd really recommend you get a, a you get a, a pair of uh, DDR4 RAM. Um, I'm going to put the description. I'm going to put uh, my um, I'm going to put my exact PC specs down in the description. Um, just so you guys can see what I'm running exactly, because that when I upgraded the CPU, the RAM, and the monitor, which I'm over sure the monitor has nothing to do with anything, 
um, I had no, I have, I get nothing. It's so smooth. It's buttery smooth, and I, I don't, e I don't even need to mess with anything. The only reason I even overclocked this one, um, is just because I can. It just automatically overclocks, and it's a good, it's a good speed. It's like fourteen something, fourteen forty six or something like that. Fourteen thirty six. So it's good. Um, this, if you can, if you can get a CPU and some RAM first. And if it still doesn't work, I try this. Um, well, no, actually, first try this, <laughs> and then if you can, I would get a CPU and some RAM. Um, and then the way you save it, you just click this, and then you click one of the profiles, and then it's saved. And you can even set it to start up um, at a specific one, which I'm actually going to turn off because I don't actually need it anymore because I just run it at stock. Um, but if I were need to, you know, for any reason, I would actually I would leave it stock save that profile and then do the uh do this updated profile and then or not updated but you know this profile i found online uh and then make it to two and maybe even change other ones to see which one works the best for you and your specs maybe you have less ram etc etc now let me tell you when i read some of this stuff it confused me because it had nothing to do with what he was saying or basically it had nothing to do with what was here but I will uh, I will link this in the description so you guys can uh, look at that this was when was this published it was published in 2017 so I don't even know when this uh, when this graphics card was released but which one is it? this is the one I have So yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry I'm dragging along here. Uh, try this, guys. If it works, please let me know. If it doesn't, uh, I'll, I'll I'll mess with it some more. I'll mess with everything some more, and uh, maybe I can help you guys out. Um, I really hope this helps. Again, consider if you don't already have a new Ryzen uh graphics a uh, new Ryzen CPU and some DDR4 RAM, which I will link a really good pair of. eForce RAM, uh, they're really good. They run at uh, I think 3600 megahertz, which is, I mean, I'm almost sure it's the sweet spot for these CPUs. So, again, let me know how it goes, guys. I hope this helps.